You are listening to the Dave Sweetmore Show, and that's the last single from Ryan Jarvis. I think I'm falling in love, and it is an absolute pleasure to say the man himself is joining me now. Ryan Jarvis, Ryan, how you doing, man? I'm good, thank you, mate. A little bit sunburned and a bit sweaty, but I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, all good, thank you. Listen, yeah. it's an absolute pleasure that you're joining us today. Obviously, me and you were working together this forthcoming Thursday night at Zero's Bar in Staley mm-hmm. Bridge. We'll talk about that in a minute. First of all, you know, you've got an amazing reputation. Um, I'm sorry to make you thank sound you. old now, but it's nearly a decade since you released <laughs> your debut single outside this Good town. <laughs> sorry about that, pal. Sorry about well, that. All right, mate. It's all right. <laughs> Let, let's go back to the beginning. What were your first memories yeah. of music growing up uh, best memory i'm very very fortunate me for like my dad and like, my mum and dad and I'm, I'm i always say i'm very fortunate i've still got both sets of my grandparents knocking about like so and all like, all, all four of them are all mad into like different types of music i've got one now that's into just abba and that's it abba <laughs> and then <laughs> my granddad earth fella my granddad my grandma jimmy he's just he's into like every brothers hollies all that and then my other nana is my dad's like mum and, and dad and granddad she's into like elvis all that sort of stuff and then the other gra- and my granddad like granddad harry um my dad's dad he's he's into like everything he like he likes his irish music he likes his um like joan baez dylan all the american stuff mad mad beatles fans he's, he's got the best record collection you'll ever see like he's, you know every time every time i see him like, i've seen quite a lot and he's just he's got ev- he's, he's got like, i think like a couple of singles away from having like a full beatles collection uh, my first memory, I always say I've got a lot of memories of music, but one of my most favourite ones, when you, when you close your eyes and you think back to whenever it may be, I always remember, um, I think one of the most like poignant memories is uh, coming downstairs as like a seven, eight-year-old, nine-year-old. My grand, used to make, my mum and dad, my used to make my granddad, Polly and Jim used to stay over quite a lot, we used to have a game of dark. And um, one of my most favourite memories is coming down to my granddad, cigar smoke, plumes of cigar smoke, and listening to the hollies. Well, I didn't know they were at the sound, I just heard these voices, and, and the Emily Brothers heard these beautiful voices. I was just, I was eight on I just wanted to come around and play darts with my granddad and my dad. And that still sticks to me now, just them, them beautiful voices. And now I'm, I'm 27 nearly, and I get it now. And that's, well, that sticks to me. That must, I don't know, that's what, 40, 15 years ago. So, so, so you had, was, you had, like, you had a great, memory. great musical yeah. upbringing. Could, what what made you pick up a guitar though, Ryan? When, when was the point you thought, I'm going to have a go at this, I'm going to pick up a guitar and write some songs <laughs> myself? I, I love I love football and that, but like, oh, I've got three brothers, younger brothers and all, a lot better than me in football. And I tried it when I was a kid, and uh, my dad always, yeah, always, Last, I was like 12, 13. He always said, like, he just knew that it wasn't for me. I still like it, but I was playing it, I was too shy. So he thought he, 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 he was just mad into his music. My dad, he, he had the guitar and just left it there. He never pushed me to do it. I just found my own way. He just, he, he, he remembers coming on for work one day. I was just looking at it, but he sounds so cheesy. This, like, like proper, but I was just I was looking at it, I was like, oh, I don't want to start it that way. Dad was like, right, well, I've got a mate. An old mate from school who's just starting out like lessons and that big up Stephen Bezik Bez and he just shouted him and a week later it was like I was it was round to a, it was sort of a, a shy 12, 13 year old who and it, and we had, I had lessons with him every week like two years and I think I think I picked it up after about a year but we just carried on lessons because it was just it was good for me that you know a shy kid and that's when I first started yeah and still God knows how many years later still doing it <laughs> as well as the stuff you were listening to you know like the Hollies and the Everly Brothers and all that kind yeah, of stuff yeah. what were you listening to yourself at that time in your life who was knocking about in the charts then that you were digging it was chart stuff it was all like at that time when I was like, I was just first discovering that I was like it was I was like music it was all my dad's stuff obviously all the Manchester stuff and all that and we, and we found loads of different, different bands like me and my and dad used to sit and listen to it and we discovered Las Vegas and I think the band that I it was my band you know it was the Fortunas but that was that was my band so I had my dad's band on um, my granddad and this but the band was my band was the Fortunas I discovered myself I just stood I downloaded the tunes on like probably LimeWire, you know, I've paid for them since. But I got my LimeWire, I was in like year eight and just listened to them, I school and that. But yeah, it was mainly like the core tunes, all the Manchester stuff and that. And I'm a bit less, I, I, I like all sorts of stuff now. I took the blinkers off now, but you know, as, a, as an innocent 12, 13 year old, I was just discovering what, you know, what I like. <laughs> you, you do as you get older don't you and of course as you yeah, became man. successful and you ended up getting a, a top fan base yourself you ended up supporting the Cortinas at the Apollo what was like that like you know going from a fan of the band to playing with them in Manchester that was mate it was, it was mad like, I've, I've seen them I've, you know, I've seen them so many times since but before that as well as like a kid you know growing up and then I, I, I always I always put the gigs with my mum and dad and I mean, I'm, I'm my granddad like, we always put the gigs together when I was a kid, and where I, t- I mean, mum, I'd seen him loads of times with my mum. I'd seen him with uh, friends and stuff like that. And then they yeah, ended up getting asked, like Liam just said, do I, do I do it? It was a bit more to it than that, but like, you know, and it was mad. Yeah, it was just nice to. Nice to bring the, get the family in, into a, a, a big gig, you know, for now. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, <laughs> so it was, isn't it? It's all I thought it was meant. Yeah, 
So you've had a great, you know, career in music, kind of like you've toured the UK, you know what I mean? You've supported loads of great bands like Cortinas, you've got a massive following yourself. You brought out a few great singles like Carry You and obviously Rosie, which we're going to play yeah. in a minute as well. How's lockdown mm -hmm. treated you? Have you kept in with music during lockdown? Yeah, like the original, I, I work at Starbucks like, like throughout the week and obviously the weekends and that before I did my gigs and stuff and uh, like the, before, like the you know the original the original lockdown, like it was we we were still going through it like the first few weeks, a month or so, and then obviously it, it, we were told that like, we had to shut, and I was buzzing. I was like, I'm off work, mate, man. And then after like a month, I was like, I'm bored, me, man. But I had, obviously, I'm a little lad. He was only like a few months old at the time. We just I kept busy with that, like with with him and like the missus, and we just sat and like chilled out. And obviously at the evening time, I ended up um, recording like an acoustic version of. Rosie, you know, an old tune called All Right, which is like a beautiful, like, it's a nice acoustic record. And uh, I can't remember which of the songs right now, but I ended up doing that. Like, I recorded it myself on my MacBook in my little lad bedroom where I am now. And uh, I got an old friend from college, Nathan. He, I just sent it over to him and he, he mixed it and we did like a In Your Living Room EP. And we did like the videos and stuff as well with like, my little boy. I mean, you might have seen him like last time. Yeah, like, brilliant. On. And that was, that was mad. That was, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Being a dad and playing guitar and that. Working, so the one with... thing the, the one thing that everyone's going to want to know all the fans of Ryan Jarvis are going to want to know is there any signs of any new music coming out at any point definitely yeah definitely it's not, I've not been as like as active as I wanted to over the past like obviously year and so because after like two months of like the original lockdown I was back working again and it's just all of a sudden it's a year later and I'm here but I've been writing loads and stuff as well but obviously I've not had like not been jamming with the band and things I'm not, so I've not been able to take the stuff that I've been you know, doing at home, like downstairs at staff the clock to the to the boys. But I've got it all saved on my laptop and my phone and stuff. So there's definitely something coming. We've got um, we've obviously got the big Manchester gig in November, so we're going to get back in the rehearsal room in the next couple of weeks. So that's where I'm going to once once we've got that set sorted, I'm going to be showing them like the new stuff and then straight back in the studio probably probably mid summer, I reckon, like mid to end of summer. It's so, so good yeah, to hear yeah. that. It's so exciting to hear, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Uh, this Probably Thursday night, th this Thursday night, me and you are playing together at uh, the brand yeah, new man. Zeros Bar in Staley Bridge. Now, I know you were there a couple of months ago and everyone went mad. In fact, it Sam the owner said it was yeah. the best gig he'd had. Do you know what I mean? Oh, mate. Nice one, Sam, lad. It was top. Well, I'm really, really looking forward to this Thursday. I'm going to be DJing there every Thursday night starting this week, and it's an absolute pleasure to have you on as our live guest this week. Yeah, what can well, people expect this week? Any any, uh, any new stuff? You're going to do all the old classics? Yeah, I think I'm going to play one one or two new stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to be all my... I like the one I did a few weeks ago. It was just like... It was obviously a Ryan Jarvis set, all my like all the stuff that people know, and that. I ended up throwing a few covers. I ended up on my mum and my brother and these mates there, so it's just going to be a full set of my stuff and a few new ones, but obviously all the... All the stuff that everyone knows. So yeah, I can't wait for it, man. You're really, really well. looking forward to it. Well, listen, I'm going to see you there on Thursday night, mate, at Zero's Bar. You've got nice loads one. of exciting stuff coming up, like, you know, over the rest of the year. Hopefully new music in yep. summertime, you know, gigs towards the end of the year. Ryan, listen, it's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, I'll Thank see you. you. Much, mate. No, mate, anytime. It's so good to see you. And uh, it's so good to see you've got new music on the horizon as well. So I'll see you at Zero's Bar this Thursday night, mate, yeah? Yeah, man. See you on Thursday. Have a, have a few pints and that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Take it no, easy. Mate. An absolute Stop pleasure, mate. mate, as always. The one and only Ryan Jarvis. And don't forget, I'll be playing alongside Ryan. I'll be DJing. Ryan will be playing this Thursday night at Zero's Bar in Staley Bridge. It's free in. Starts at 7 o'clock. Come down. It's going to be a top, top night. A massive thank you once again to the legendary Ryan Jarvis. And this is that massive hit of his. This is Ryan Jarvis and Rosie. <laughs> 